Hi there, kit fans. Louise with you today, and I'm sharing another July layout for Kitaholic kits. And this time, I started with this frame kind of background paper. And I don't know why, but I decided I was going to fussy cut it. I think because it's quite a busy background paper, I wasn't quite sure how to use it, and I figured the easiest way would be to, for me to cut out frames. Not only that, but I really like frames. I think they make a really interesting addition to the background of a layout, and in this case too, um, the photo itself it needed something a little bit extra added around it so I'm firstly going to put some frames around the photo and I'm going to mount them up with some cardboard just to add a little bit of dimension um, so you can see I've got one at the top one at the bottom a little bit of cardboard and then I've sliced one of the frames in half I'm going to use that around the sides as well so in this case um, that's going to form the basis of my layout and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do but I knew I needed something on my white cardstock background so I'm just starting with this sort of messy line of watercolor so that's the um, Vicky Boot and watercolor markers that we got a couple of kits ago and I'm having a bit of a play around with those uh, frames and just seeing how I want to lay things out and what I want to do again no plan in mind except for that um, I needed to um, scrapbook a layout and this is what I came up with so you can see um, I'm going to um, make that color go all the way to the edges of the page and then add some more of those frames. Now, in a second off camera, I'm going to go ahead and attach everything down with tacky glue so that it's all ready to go. And um, I'm going to add some black cotton into the background of um, the actual photo area. So nothing too technical here. This is all just about making a bit of a mess and adding a little bit of texture and interest. I had initially thought about maybe stitching those um, frames into place but I think that just the messy sort of um, uh, cotton thread helps to just add that textural interest. Now the hay sugar is the first embellishment that I picked up and I really think it's such a great um, little title that I've used it straight away. I also found that we had these extra frames so I decided to use those. I love a good tag so I've popped a tag in there as well but this particular layout came together really quickly and I love just that you know you can embellish from the kit and it's so simple and easy to put a page together. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and make sure if you haven't already you hit that little subscribe button.